So here's <laughs> here's how my on my ribbon. Well, hello, happy Saturday. Last you saw me, I'm not sure if I was coherent or not, but hey, I'm sure I was. So yes, I am about to put up the tree, but first I wanna show you guys all the goodies that I've been picking up over the weeks. So I have everything laid out so I'm not digging through bags and just the sound of bags, because I seem to do that. So I kind of have everything just laid out. So we're about to head out there and do that. All right, I'm back. I'm having my chai with pumpkin foam. Still doing that because it's my fave. I'm not really a fan of any of the holiday drinks or I haven't found one that I like and I don't really do coffee, so. But I mean, I wish they gave me a little, what's it called, cup? A Christmas cup, I guess the little holder is Christmassy. Get it together, Starbucks. Okay, so speaking of, yes, my fiance needed a new battery. So as soon as I got up, we kind of dealt with that or I had to give him a jump. I had to go to the 99 cent store because I didn't have time to go yesterday and I wanted to get more matte champagne balls like I got last year. Also check out last year's haul because I will be incorporating that stuff with the stuff that I purchased this year. Every year I just accumulate more and more stuff. That's what I do. So um, yeah, I wanted to get more like champagne matte balls for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my tree a little different this year. I was really inspired by, I'm always inspired by someone's tree, <laughs> but I'm trying to kind of replicate what she did. I don't know if they didn't get bulbs. Oh, I have to say bulbs because last year I kept saying balls. My fiance was correcting me, it's bulbs, whatever balls okay <laughs> so i went to try and go get more bulbs i don't know if they didn't get a shipment this year i don't know if i'm late speaking of i just feel like christmas is earlier and earlier every year which i kind of don't mind because it makes the season last longer but yeah i just feel like when you go look for stuff like there's not i don't know it's like stuff's out of stock or you can't get exactly what you want. I find myself buying stuff earlier and earlier every year. I could not find the balls that I needed at the 99 cent store. I'm kind of sad, I'm really upset. Then I ended up at Target again, trying to see what they had because I am specifically looking for these matte balls. I'm gonna try and like put them all together in like a little cluster. I'll show you guys. Obviously, you guys can see, I'm about to put up my tree. It's gonna take a lot of prep work, so honestly, I might prep everything and do it in the morning. But at the same time, I kinda wanna get it over with. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyways, so Target didn't have anything or didn't have what I was looking for. About to get the decorating. Just kind of wanted to give you an update on everything. But yeah, I just wish I got started earlier because it seems so late. So I'll probably be up all night doing this. But yeah, let's let's go do our haul, our Christmas decor haul. So I have everything laid out literally <laughs> just so I'm not rustling through bags that I'm going to show you everything that I purchased so that all right let's get started so I put nipple covers on so I'm not <laughs> blinding you guys so I think I'm gonna do home goods first because I got the majority of stuff from there all right so first I picked I back so you guys can see everything okay so first I picked up these so cute um, I really like the ones that I got for fall yeah and they kind of were similar but they had pumpkins on them so i was looking for something that was very similar to that and yeah i saw these and i thought they were perfect my color scheme is like champagne gold silver white type of deal so i felt like these would look really cute in the kitchen they are adorable they have just those gold christmas trees on them and yeah what is this max studio but yeah i picked them up from home goods to add some Christmas decor to my kitchen. <laughs> I picked up these mugs so we can have our hot chocolate and our eggnog and stuff. I always, I've been looking for like gold and white mugs for a while. And yeah, obviously these are kind of just really Christmassy and festive. I can't get this glue off. We haven't used them yet, so I'm gonna probably put them in the dishwasher. Obviously put them in the dishwasher and soak them to get this sticker off and stuff that blew off but these are so cute so festive it just reminds me of 
What is it, the Santa Claus? I feel like when she makes them the hot chocolate, I feel like it's in a really pretty mug. So I, I feel like that's why I was looking for <laughs> nice mugs. So just one for me and him. I found those a couple of weeks ago, but, and then I came back home and I was like, oh, I wish there was matching plates. So I went back to, I've been to Home Goods. I've been to these stores so many times in the past couple of weeks and I have inserted that footage that you've seen. So I've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just trying to get everything that I think I might need. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm keeping everything. I might return some stuff, but I just kind of got everything that caught my eye. And yeah, whatever we don't use is going back, okay? I got these plates. Honestly, I just wanted two plates. This is a pack of four. I found out that these do have matching plates, but when I got there, they only had the silver silver and white ones left which now that i'm thinking might look cute might look like a good contrast these and then this silver and white plates obviously i was looking for the same the matching set to this so i was looking for the gold and the white plates and i couldn't find them but i know they had them because i saw the silver ones i opted for these it's not like the same exact gold but I feel like it's kind of cute just to put our cookies on and just have it like really cute and festive. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these per se. I think I might try another home goods and try to find the same exact plates as the mugs because I only need two. I don't need, it's like we're not having people over. It's just us two. But for now, I wanted to have something rather than nothing. So yeah, I picked these up for our milking cookies, eggnog, hot chocolate, sugar cookies, stuff like that. Yeah, it's that time of year where you eat whatever you want. So I'm really excited. Another reason I woke up late is because, yeah, I've been going to the gym at like 6 a.m., like 6, 7 a.m. this whole week, which is nice because it's empty and nobody's there and it's just peaceful. But my body wants to relax once the weekend comes. It's like, no, we're sleeping in. I'm tired. And I'm like, okay. Fill you, boo. Okay, what I get next? All right, I mean, I guess I am a sucker for glam. I'm back and forth with like the glam stuff because it's like, you know, too much glam can look a little cheesy. So I personally like to kind of mix the glam and kind of the modern and the plain, but I still need a little glam. Okay, so I thought these were so cute. The cutest reindeers that I have seen, like look at their ears or their little, whatever this piece is called. So other Italian, Italians? whatever my fiance's not here if he was here he would know but he wants to go get a haircut after <laughs> so i hope he comes back soon because i want to decorate with him and i don't want to do it by myself but i'm gonna have to get started aren't these so freaking cute look at them and they're like that champagne colored so they're not bedazzled but they're kind of textured i don't know it's like a little family adorbs i think i'm gonna put this on my entertainment center i don't know if i'm decorating exactly the same as last year so i might move stuff around but wherever i do put these i am yeah gonna yeah set them up <laughs> somewhere but i just look at them how cute how cute are these and i love that they weren't too gold i don't like too too gold and um yeah so i like that they were more on the like light gold champagne because sometimes two gold can look a little cheesy and cheap as well. So let's get into some bulbs that I picked up from Home Goods. So I really like Rachel Zoe's bulbs that she has every year at Home Goods. And last year I found some, but I got them a little late. So there wasn't a lot of them. So this year I was kind of looking really early. It wasn't even Halloween yet, and I was in Home Goods. Even when I was fall shopping, that they'd already had Christmas stuff out. But this time when I went, they had their bulbs out and I got them early because last year I couldn't really find more of the ones that I got. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all these bulbs and I'm a little nervous because they're glass bulbs, but they're really pretty. I just love really decorative, intricate looking bulbs. Um, but everywhere is starting to have nice bulbs now too. So, but I really love Rachel Zoe's line at Home Goods. And like I said, I found some last year, but I only found one pack and they didn't have any more. So this year, once I saw that they were out, I was like, okay, let's pick them up now. So I have two of these, a good amount of balls to have for your trees anywhere, depending on how big your tree is. I have a small to medium tree, so she said six to eight balls. So I got two packs so I can have eight, just so they can be kind of evenly spaced out. 34th and fine, but I saw these. Again, I guess 
I'm a glam girl, but I plan on mixing these with the matte balls, which is what I went to go look for. I do have some from last year, but I don't know if I have enough. I'm making this a really big deal and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like determined to have a perfect tree. When I see people's trees and they're just so perfect looking, I'm like, every year I'm like more determined to get my tree to look perfect, so. But I feel like I'm taking the fun out of it a little bit, so I need to relax because I'm taking this really seriously. <laughs> Okay, so these are from, yeah, Home Goods as well. And again, uh, I know this ring light's making it do weird stuff. Okay, see, like, look how pretty those are. These are gorgeous. These are kind of like already falling apart, but they are Tahari. I work at Bloomingdale's, and I, yeah, I think one of the like clothing people was Tahari. <laughs> My younger days. So. Look at that, really, again, really intricate, really pretty, textured, that's kind of what I was going for. Very decorative balls, like they look really handcrafted or something was really unique about them. But the way to make it look like it's not too much going on is by offsetting it with the matte balls, which is why I needed more matte balls. So hopefully I have enough where I can make it work. They're, they're pretty, they're just really decorative. We have some pearls going on, textured. I think they're supposed to be little but like pine cones, like white pearl pine cones. Aren't these so nice? I think that's it for all. Those are all the new bulbs I picked up and I have so many bulbs. Like my bulbs are sitting right there because we're about to get started. Like literally look at all these bulbs, okay? This candle, I really like the way my pumpkin candle looked on my table. So I like the composition of like the glass the glass candle and the marble table. Something was like really pretty about it. It just looked really elegant, really nice. So I wanted to keep that theme going for Christmas. Okay, the, maybe it's too bright. This is called persimmon, persimmon, I guess that's, and chestnut. Hmm, I've never heard of that, but it's pretty. They had a whole bunch of these at home gets a clear glass candle to sit on the marble table. Something about it just looked really pretty. So I really wanted to keep that theme going for Christmas. I picked up this little pine cone candle. I thought it was really cute. I'm kind of afraid to light it. Like, I guess I need to sit it on a tray. Hopefully wax doesn't get everywhere. I don't know if I will light it. I think I just got it purely for decor, but I think she's adorable. Okay, the combination of these two just sitting together, I think it's gonna look really nice. I just needed some more, a diffuser, so I just saw this and picked it up. It kinda looks like a knockoff Joe Malone <laughs> diffuser. Um, but, oops, don't pop open right now though. So I think I'm just gonna sit this somewhere. I don't know if it's really Christmas related, but I feel like diffusers, I just like anything that makes your house smell good. I feel like this is going faster than last year, so that's good. Maybe because I laid everything out, okay? So last year when I went to Michael's, all the stems were 40% off. Luckily, they were 40% off again. You guys saw me there. They didn't have that many last year when I got there, which I don't believe was that late. I don't know, maybe there were still issues with shipping and stuff last year, so they definitely seemed like they were fully stocked this year because I didn't get enough like pieces last year. So I went back to add to the pieces that I already got from Michaels because they wanted more. They just look really pretty. So I got these, I'm, I'm sure it's meant to be a bouquet. I noticed that individual stems are basically the same price as the bouquet. Luckily everything was 40% off. Like, so for example, uh, is there a tag on this? This was 16.99, but it was 40% off. But I noticed if you buy the individual ones, it basically was like 5.99 or 6.99 for one. So I figure out, let me just get the bouquet and yeah, I like to DIY and I, I plan on taking it apart and just kind of, yeah, sticking them in the tree, however I see fit. But these are so pretty. They're that champagne color, which is kind of what I'm going for. So let's continue going through all the stems. There's gonna be glitter and stuff everywhere but i plan on obviously vacuuming after so i picked these up same little deal i'm gonna take them off the branch and add them to my tree because one of these was the same price as the individual ones to put in the tree i'm like that makes no sense so yeah i will be cutting them right off and literally sticking them in my tree because why not it's basically the same thing same effect so these are kind of like the champagne little grapes or whatever they're supposed to be. But so cute, so pretty. I see how that all the all the colors kind of blend together and complement one another. Really like focused on that 
this year. I wanted everything to flow. Oh, again, taking this way too seriously. But hey, it's the most wonderful time of year. And yeah, these are meant to be picks. I'm sure that's not what they're intended for. Oh, I got these from Home Goods. These are not from Michaels. I just assumed because they are picks that I got them from Michaels. But no, I did pick these up at Home Goods. They are binded together, but I will be taking them apart. I plan on putting these on the top of my tree. I feel like that's kind of like the new trend and it looks really nice instead of a star. I never really liked a star on top of the tree. It was, I never thought it was cute. So, and then my mom would get mad because she was like, put the star up or put the angel up. And I'm like, Ugh, whatever. Obviously I did it for her. I do her tree too. On my personal tree, I do not care for the star. I don't, I don't like it. Unless it's like a really pretty star, which is hard to come by or you don't really find in the store. I just prefer, I like the new little trend where you put a whole bunch of pics at the top. So that's what these are for and they're kind of more glam and just, yeah, again, really decorative, really intricate, just so cute. But they are bounded together, so I'm gonna have to take them apart. I hope I can really get started tonight because I have to do a lot of this type of stuff. I, live, I have to take these apart. I need to put the bulbs together. So if you remember last year, I got some of these, but I wanted more, but I pretty much got the ones that were left. But this year I went back and found a lot more. When I placed these on my tree last year, I was obsessed. I was obsessed. I feel like they're so pretty. I don't think these are meant to go on the tree, but I literally just them in there so i even leave, leave them like on the stem i just like stick it <laughs> uh, how freaking pretty is that like oh my gosh so gorgeous and again not too gold not too you know it's more of that like champagne light gold really really pretty and i don't know if this is all gonna flow together this is my vision <laughs> that i hope comes together i'm hell bent on making this tree look spectacular. So I don't know if I can really get it done tonight. It might take two days, okay? Because I'm gonna take my time. So these are more picks. I plan on putting them at the top of the tree. But these I specifically want on top of the tree laying with that. See, see how that kind of looks? Yeah, I think that looks so pretty at the top of the tree to kind of create like a little star. And, and then I like that these aren't so white. The ones I got last year, I think are a little too white. I don't know if I'm gonna use them this year. Like that these are kind of like more of like a cream and off white. Oh, I just feel like it's gonna look like it's kind of like snowing at the top of my tree, like diamond snow, crystal snow. That's my plan. It looks like it just started snowing and it got caught at the top of the tree. Where I come up with this shit, I do not know. But okay. So Pampas, I only got one stem because it was kind of expensive. Um, I think one stem was $20 and the Pampas was not on sale because it's not considered Christmas. So I don't know if I want to put it in my tree or not. I plan on taking it apart and sticking it in the tree. But I'm not too sure if I want to use it yet or not. And I don't know if one stem is going to be enough. So we'll see. It's kind of like, but it's pretty. I'll probably keep it anyway. But then, see, I need to be sure because I'm going to take it apart. So I don't want to take it apart, not use it when I could have kept it together and use it. Because I don't have any Pampas in my bedroom yet and I'm obsessed with Pampas. I'm a Pampas snob. I'll put Pampas anywhere. I just love it. I want to try taking it apart and placing it in the tree too. I don't know. I feel like it might look nice. It just to add more of that like um, kind of like the champagne color but also so it can flow with the rest of the house because... The rest of the house is basically like this color. So I think that that could look really nice. That way it ties everything together. That was my plan for the pampas. <coughs> it's probably dust in this because it's going in my throat. So I hope that lot looks nice. Okay, so let's hold all the stems together. Like see, isn't that so pretty? I actually held it together in the store too. Oh, you guys saw me. I kind of like stuck it into a tree. <laughs> I like to do that when I'm out. I'll find a tree that looks similar to my tree and I'll stick stuff in it to see if everything kind of is like cohesive and goes together. I see how it's just like a nice, pretty flow, like all the colors complement each other. And then just like, look at that. Look at that, gorgeous. So I was back and forth if I wanted, what are these called? Every year I struggle. Oh yeah, the point to Senta. Placenta, I feel like I struggle saying this every freaking year. Placenta, flowers. So, yeah, I feel like everything together just is gonna look so cute. I'm glad I put everything up because last year, oh, I'm gonna glitter all over. These were also on sale at Michael's. I think they were 40% off. And then Michael's, 
Um, if you've on their website or the cashier had actually told me, um, you're able to use an additional coupon depending on what sale they have going on that week. These were on sale. So I thought these were pretty and again, champagne matches my color scheme. They have similar ones at Costco, but I like these because they looked a little bit more glam. And if, every time I think I'm above like glam and glitter and yeah, like I pick it right back up. I feel like during Christmas, that's when you can kind of get away with it, so. You know? So I'm probably gonna see these by the tree or on my entertainment center. So pretty, I just wanted to get two different sizes. But they're just so glam, so pretty again. Not too gold, more on the champagne side. Cute, right? Oh, maybe I'll do all gold on the entertainment center. So they're they're about, they kind of complement one another. Yeah, I think they do. So also pick up all these pumpkins and wrap them up, because yeah, it's time to put out the Christmas stuff. Although I might keep my Z Gallery pumpkins out because I got my bedroom set a couple of Christmases ago, maybe like two or three Christmases ago from Z Gallery. But when I got there, they had the same pumpkins and the pumpkins are from Z Gallery as well. They had them sitting on the dresser and it looked so pretty. So being that the pumpkins are kind of beaded and more glam, I feel like they can kind of flow into Christmas and they were using them for Christmas decorations. So I might leave them out or move them into my bedroom. I just, and they had a whole bunch. It was so pretty. I wish I had more. Cause I kind of want to recreate them. So I think that's everything from Michaels. You know, trying to act like I'm one of the arts and crafts people. So apparently I need this ribbon to put the balls together. So I'm literally about to be sitting down and like putting balls together for probably like the next hour or two. And then this wire is for my ribbon. I want to like crinkle the ribbon a certain way that I saw. So I'm going to make an attempt. Basically like put the ribbon together and tie it together. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Like try to do that so i picked that up from michael's this wire and this ribbon okay what's next next let's go to the target no yeah i'll show you my ribbon no let's go to target okay because i got ribbon from target but i don't know if I, I don't know what ribbon i'm using okay so i got cookie cutters i usually make chocolate chip cookies but i i feel like um christmas is more about the sugar cookies and cutting them out so i'm gonna attempt to make some sugar cookies and I kind of want to make I like to do them when my tree's done but depending on how late that is I don't know if that's happening okay sugar cookie mix so it's my first time making sugar cookies from scratch I just went ahead and picked these up but I was wondering if I should have got it from Whole Foods but whatever cookies are fucking cookies okay it's cookies and then today because I had to go back to Target I've been back and forth to these stores so many times I was at Target last night I was at Target I live at Target. I, I now live at Target in Home Goods. I'm there as much as I am home. Wait, I've been to Target like three or four times this week. It's ridiculous. I feel like I'm going to Target more and more and more. It's at the point where I'm buying clothes at Target to wear back to Target, like literally, like sweats and stuff. It's getting worse. So <laughs> I got this rolling pin. <laughs> um, Cause yeah, you gotta roll out the dough, right? Again, first time making sugar cookies. So I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. I was like, I realized today, I was like, okay, we got everything, but I don't think we have a rolling pin. But did we get icing for the sugar cookies? <sighs> you know what? I think we have icing, but I think it's gonna expire soon. It's actually my icing from last year because I didn't use it because we usually make chocolate chip cookies and not sugar cookies. So I think I have to use it by this weekend. I'll probably end up getting new icing because I don't know if I'm gonna make these sugar cookies tonight or not. Picks up some more house socks. I like these, although I noticed a little grip on the bottom kind of gets messed up when you put them in the dryer. It like melts it. But um, these are so cute and festive. Again, like to wear my little socks while I'm watching my movies. Speaking of, fallen in love with Vanessa Hudgens, which um, the little princess, switch movies i watched all three of them this week i think they are so cute i'm actually watching it right now it's on mute ah she did such a good job in those movies her um english accent was so good <laughs> yeah i absolutely love watching all the holiday movies i've gotten started i watched the whole princess switch collection i thought it was so cute i'm very much a sucker for the little Hallmark and Lifetime movies. But Netflix has really good movies and they have a whole collection. So I plan on watching like as many movies as I can. I just love this warm, toasty feeling. And you know, at the end, someone meets the love of their life or they get married or they're prince. And it's just, ah, oh, that feeling. <laughs> yes, I've been binging and will continue to binge holiday movies. Picked up more lights because I ended up using lights on my credenza last year. And then I think I want to put lights on my entertainment center too. 
So we'll see, just in case. Just picked up more lights. Honestly, our lights, our Christmas lights are still up from last year on our balcony. So I just have to turn them on. So that's, so I got hooks to hang up my garland, which I did not find at Costco. I am so upset. I knew I should have picked up this garland when I saw it. I saw it before Halloween. I don't know, I might try another Costco because I really, really wanted this garland. It was pre-lit, it was silver, gold, and white. It was like my whole little color scheme. So I'm kind of upset because, yeah, but I just got these hooks because yeah, they're supposed to be used to hang up garland or whatever I need to hang up. I saw that these are kind of the hooks that you're supposed to get more socks from the Target because I love house socks, Christmas socks again, sitting down, watching a movie, having your hot chocolate. My like little socks are sitting there or my feet are up with my little socks on. It just makes me feel so festive. And yeah, I also got these hooks, just some bigger hooks, but I don't even know what I'm hanging up because I didn't get this garland. So I'm really sad about my garland. Like I'm so sad. I really, really, really wanted this garland, but it's okay. Okay, I picked these up today at Target, but I have so much ribbon. I Every year I'm trying to find the perfect ribbon. Again, I'm always looking for the kind of like the velvety thicker ribbon. I think next year I'm just gonna order it early from like Amazon or something because I cannot find it in the store. I know this is more for like wrapping presents, I think. So where's the ribbon that everyone gets that they put on their tree. That looks so pretty. That like champagne velvety textured cloth ribbon. I cannot find this ribbon anywhere. I was at Joann's, I was at, and you think Joann's would have it. They're a fabric store. So unless I wasn't looking in the right section, I do not know where to find this pretty ribbon that everyone uses. But yeah, I didn't want my ribbon too gold. I didn't want it too silver. I have ribbon, older ribbon, but I want a new ribbon because I wanted it to look more champagne. So I picked these up from the Tarche. So they're two of the same. But I have some other ribbon that I picked up from Joann's and everything at Joann's was, I believe, 40 or 50% off too already. So I don't know what ribbon I'm gonna end up using. This one, I don't know if I'm gonna keep. This one's from Michaels. It's two different ribbons too. I was looking for more of like a pearl champagne textured ribbon that I could not find. And then I picked this one up from Joann's. It says $14.99, but I think it only came out to like $6. I think it was 50% off, like I said, or something. 40% off, whatever. I have to decide <laughs> which ribbon I wanna go for. And I actually do the ribbon first. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. So here's, <laughs> here's all, my, all my ribbon. <laughs> I'm trying. Here's all my ribbon that I need to figure out. See, this one's looking real silver on camera. I don't like that. Which one looks more champagne? I'm like really trying to use the viewfinder to figure out what the ribbon looks about. But I'm gonna pick out one of these ribbons that I wanna use and return the one that I don't use. They pretty much do look the same. You guys, I'm just getting worse. I picked up like three of the same ribbons. Like they're slightly different. I'm not gonna use them all. I just wanted to see which one looks the best. So anytime I saw one that kind of caught my eye, I just picked up. So one's from Joann's, one's from Michael's, one's two are from Target. I think that's everything. I feel like this went so much better than last year. Last year was just like a lot. I felt like I was digging through bags, it was getting lost. So I like that I laid everything out because it made it a lot easier to show you. So of course I forgot to show you something. So I'm back. <laughs> I got these candles from Bath Body Works. It's my favorite fall, this, I didn't say my favorite fall candle, but no, it's my favorite Christmas candle. This is Frosted Cranberry from Bath Body Works. I absolutely love this candle. I burn this candle every year. It smells so good. It is my favorite holiday Christmas candle. Absolutely love this candle. Well, yeah, I only picked up one, but I'll probably get some more if I need more. And then I just wanted to try this one out, but it, it's Cranberry Orange Seltzer. I'm gonna try this one out as well. You can smell all kind of, you know, holiday in here. Speaking of, I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot to get an air freshener for my living room area from Target because I mean, the fall one's out, I believe, and now I need like a holiday one. But then I picked up Bright Christmas. Oh, I think I had already picked this up. I think it was like on sale, so I already had this one. Flower, I like the wallflowers in the bedrooms. And then the winter candy apple. Then I also picked up one that I'm using right now. It's, it's like falling flurries or something. It's blue, but it doesn't smell that great. I was at the 99 cent store looking for bulbs. So I picked up some more fake snow. I don't know if I'm gonna do my reindeer and like the same thing I did on my credenza last year. I'm not sure. My main focus today though is the tree. And then I think I'll kind of move to the entertainment center and then the 
credenza either tomorrow or next week. But as long as I get the tree done, that saves, yeah, that's kind of my main focus because everything else is easy. The tree is like the hardest part. So yeah, once you get that out the way, I can really see what else I want to do everywhere else. So I think that is everything that I wanted to show you.